Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Stashkina and today we are going to talk about how to store your wifi paper and how to bring it back to life. So here I have a pack of wifi paper and usually when you buy wifi paper it comes in this plastic bag and sometimes these bags they do not seal them very well and you get cracks and your wifi paper gets uh, old and dry and almost impossible to work with because if your wafer paper is fresh it should be pliable and it should be a easy bendable but if your wafer paper is dry most of the time when you take a piece of wafer paper and trying to fold it in half like I have here you can see all the cracks and it breaks very easily so what I do to store my wafer paper first of all you need to find the bag that's the size of your wafer paper or a little bit larger I use this by from IKEA and when I store my wafer paper I'm making sure that I seal my bag tight so you can see there is no air coming into the bag when I get new wafer paper I keep it in the bag like this so this is the new package to make sure that it will stay fresh longer and if my wafer paper becomes a little bit too dry, how I bring it back to life, I use a piece of kitchen towel and a little plastic bag. I'll take a little bit of water and I will spray my kitchen towel. So it should be damp, but it's not supposed to be wet. So I have a little bit of moisture on my paper towel and I'm going to fold it and put it inside a plastic bag and I have my towel here and I'm not going to close this uh, plastic bag I'm going to leave it open and put inside my bag with wafer paper so here I have my wafer paper in a plastic bag another storage bag and this one is open goes inside like this and I will seal it and leave it for about maybe 24 hours even longer depends on how dry is your wafer paper because this bag is open and it's just a little bit of moisture enough to bring your wafer paper back to life so that's the easiest way to restore your wafer paper I hope you like this tip. Thank you so much for watching this week's quick tip on how to bring your wafer paper back to life. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave it a like if you like this video, and I'll see you next week, same time, same place. Bye bye!